Hey, what's up everyone? So today I'm gonna explain you what's going on in my cars project because for the people who are following me, you probably notice I bought new 300ZX, but not only one, two extra 300ZX. So I'm gonna explain you what's going on. So basically, as uh, you know, for the people who are already following me, this 300ZX was the first 300ZX that I bought when I moved here in Japan. I bought it from Genki Motorsports. Uh, he do auction. He's an American guy living in Japan. And uh, if you need a car when you move in Japan, that's your guy. He got me that deal. I start drifting with that car. I start doing the D1 competition. And I got a few sponsors supporting me, like Scale Suspension, Just Engineering for the Angle Kit and the Rear Arms Kit. Um, I have also special stage wiring who did all my custom harness and supply me all the stuff to do my harness and do my um, computer installation because I'm running SEU Master, the black EMU. And then, uh, yeah. So I had also sponsored by Mission that give me all the wide body kit and the, spo the spoiler. And uh, so basically that car was supposed to be my future car for doing serious competition and then lo not long time after i bought a vh a vh45 with uh, the project to put this thing v8 with a big turbo but uh i was like uh but now i'm gonna end up with an extra engine that i don't know what to do because what i'm gonna do with this engine so that's why I bought this one. So this one is a 60,000 kilometers car, the previous owner blew the engine and abandoned the car since 2017. Uh, the original owner never fixed it. And so I bought it, but since it was abandoned outside, the paint, uh, all the clear burnt. So since it's a low mileage and it's really clean, I know like the paint is burned, but like the underneath of the chassis, everything, it's so clean. There's no rust on that chassis. It's a really, really good car. Uh, there's no damage on it. Like no, it, the report say there's never had any accident on it. So I think it's really worth it to save that car. I want to put it as original as possible and then make it clean clean because i really want to sell that car to someone who's gonna treat well that car and then um yeah i really want to save that one because 300 that is getting rare especially in japan then not long time after i end up on this one so basically this one is uh originally a twin turbo hard chassis slick top so these are really really not common it's really rare to to find them and when i end up on that deal i had no choice to accept that this car is going to be my new competition car and this car basically is uh, really clean have no rust it's already empty ready to make a roll cage inside so it's really perfect to make a real pro competition car because i'm aiming for eventually for the formula d now I want to do the D1 competition, but my next step after the D1 competition will be to aim for the Formula D series in Japan. So for now, what I'm gonna do is fix this, the gray one. I'm gonna restore it as original as possible. I'm gonna remove the GTR spoiler, put it like clean chassis, restore the engine, make it really original car and damn i wish i could keep it <laughs> but i have no room for three 300 zx and then so yeah anyway the lucky guy who's gonna have that car is gonna be a really clean car and i'm gonna make it the original as possible and then this one yeah this one's gonna receive the vh45 with a big turbo and then after that well this one um i decided that i will probably swap an sr20 because like in japan if you don't know basically you have to pay um, the license plate 
depending on the engine displacement you have so basically if you have a three liter in japan it's really expensive but if you have like around two liter or less it's really better plus an sr20 will improve the light uh, the weight reduction and then i will still be able to drift it because even if I'm gonna make it as a street legal car, I, I still wanna keep it as like drift one car for the weekend when I don't want to use the big V8 one. So probably uh, try to get another angle kit on this one and then keep drifting it. And uh, yeah, that's what is the project for now. So for today i'm gonna keep working on the cars and then i'm gonna keep you updated on the future project so if you want to stay updated don't forget to subscribe like and share to support me drive safely see you next time guys